Hey everyone, today I'm going to make green gram curry, mung beans, sabji also known as, and it is basically green gram. So let's begin. Take about one cup of mung beans, mung, so known as green gram. Wash several times until water runs clear. Drain water and keep aside. Wash one tomato and chop roughly. You don't have to chop fine, just roughly. I'm going to use pressure cooker, but you can certainly cook this curry into the open pot. Into the pressure cooker pot, heat up about a teaspoon of oil and half teaspoon of mustard seeds rye and let them crack when the mustard seeds starts popping add turmeric powder add tomato little bit of water salt to taste ginger paste garlic paste give it a stir red chili powder to taste coriander cumin powder, dhania jira powder add mung bean bring down temperature on a medium heat before it was on a high heat and now I'm going to cook mung beans on a medium heat now add more water cover the pressure cooker pot with the whistle on and here about 8 to 10 whistles. I'm going to hear 8 to 10 whistles. Yes, it requires a little bit more cooking because there are whole mung beans. Now you must be thinking of a sweet and sour elements of this curry. But when I cook this curry into the pressure cooker just one pot, I add sweetness and the sour later once the curry is completely done. While the curry is cooking, I have here cilantro, chopped cilantro, very fine. And here I have lime. Okay, so I heard eight whistles. I allowed pressure cooker to cool down naturally. And I'm going to open it now and show you how it looks like. Release all the pressure from the pressure cooker. And open the pressure cooker carefully making sure that steam do not get on your hands or anywhere else on your body now as you can see there's no water left but that is what I want you don't want to add too much water that it may just uh, spoil when it blows the whistle and get all over your kitchen now what I normally do I turn on the stove on a medium heat again add water as much as you need and before you add anything else make sure they are cooked nicely so I'm going to check as you can see they are cooked perfectly nice very soft and yet you can see each and every grain of the moon beans. So now I'm ready to add sweetness. I'm using jaggery. You can simply use brown sugar or regular sugar. I'm going to add a little bit more water because I usually like nice gravy in there. I'm going to cover and bring it to boil again. Let's check again. Give it a stir. And look at this very simple yet tasty yummy curry ready to bring out into the serving handy and serve with rice and roti very nutritious combination yum squeeze fresh lemon or lime juice before serving and finely chopped coriander leaves 
Today I'm serving this curry with plain whole wheat paraka. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipes every week and also please do visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen thank you for watching and see you soon